Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Dave, this is Character Select. Uh, this is the vlog. It's been a while since I've done these. It's always been a while since I've done one of these because I can't be consistent in anything I fucking do. But, you know, whatever. I just want to talk to you guys a bit, as always. Uh, and I know that this is going up in place of a Saturday episode, and that's because I don't have a Saturday episode right now. I apologize. Um... I'm trying to get Saban and Kylan and Tyler and some kind of wizard and Gardiford and a couple and a couple of other people to do more solo stuff so that I don't have to kill myself trying to do a lot of solo stuff. But it's a work in progress. We're working on it. So today you're going to get the vlog instead of the solo stuff. Um, but I just wanted to, to talk to you guys a, a little bit. Um, a couple of things that are going to be changing. Not a lot. Nothing to be worried about here, but I just wanted to give you guys the heads up. Um, and I don't know what to say. Here's the problem. I did not write notes for this vlog. I, I don't know what to say yet. Um, I'm kind of doing this off the cuff and, uh, and trying to figure this out as we go. The first thing that I wanted to talk to you about is Discord and Patreon. Patreon is a thing. There is an actual character select Patreon. Uh, and if you want to support the channel, you can certainly do so. It is absolutely not required. Um, and in fact, uh, anything that you spend there honestly just goes right back into the channel anyway. It gets us new games to play. Uh, sometimes goes for equipment upgrades, things like that. Not, uh, not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, but if you do want to support us that way, you can certainly use the Patreon to do it. However... Right now, the Patreon also allows you to get access to our Discord chat, which I am discontinuing. Uh, it's going to be, by the time this video goes up, there will be a link in the description down below where you can join the Discord chat and talk to us. Uh, I'm there pretty much all the time, um, and everybody else in the cast is there. There's a couple of other people that are patrons that uh, are in there uh, every so often, but... You can go to that link down below, uh, right there, or down below in the description, click on it, and join the chat right now, uh, when this goes up. So, I'm disconnecting Discord from Patreon because it's stupid. It was a stupid decision to do. Uh, you should not be required to have given us money in order to talk to us on the internet. It's, it's kind of foolish, and I regret making that decision. There are two other Patreon tiers, uh, and that's the other thing I wanted to talk about. I've been terrible about actually doing the things on Patreon. I am so, so sorry. Uh, the people that support us on Patreon are supposed to get a shout out at least once a month, and I haven't been doing that. I am really, 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 really sorry to everybody that's supporting us and isn't getting that. Um, I could shout out to you right now, but I don't have the list up, so I'm going to grab that. Like I said, this is off the cuff. Uh, so let me grab that here. All right, so thank you very much to the following people who are supporting us on Patreon. Christopher Phillips, thank you. Thank you, thank you so very much. Uh, we also have, under a different thing here, uh, Tobias Hopped, thank you so very much for supporting us on Patreon. Lazy Rock, thank you so very much for supporting us on Patreon. Uh, Crazy Bob, thank you so much for supporting us on Patreon. Uh, and... Um, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Um, boo boo, where is it? Crips. Crips, thank you so much for supporting us on Patreon. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I apologize in advance. Ewood Pauls, thank you so much for supporting us on Patreon. Um, and, uh,. Michael Forrest Burnett. Thank you so much for supporting us on Patreon. Uh, the support that you guys give us on Patreon actually really does mean a lot. Not monetarily, but the fact that you care enough about us to give us money to support the channel is very, very much appreciated. And thank you so much. I am very sorry that I've been messing up those those uh, those shoutouts for you for so long. Um, but uh, I will be better about that going forward, I promise you. Um other things that I wanted to mention. I have no idea. 
Uh, well, there are a couple of other things I wanted to mention. There's a, a few series that uh, we've been doing that have been going on for quite a while, and I'm sure you've noticed that. Uh, that is just because those games are super long. Um, for the most part, a game seems to last on the channel for about two and a half months, on average, uh, which is about 25, 26 episodes. But, uh, but yeah, that's that's just the way it goes. But we also have things like uh, Final Fantasy V, which has been going for five and a half months as of yesterday. Um, that's actually getting pretty close to being done. It's just a matter of actually finishing the damn game. Um, but uh, we're actually getting to the point where we're swapping out a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, some of that stuff has happened recently. Some of that stuff uh, is coming in the near future. But Quantum Break ended on Monday and we replaced it with Earth Defense Force 5, which is a great game and I love it. Uh, I hope you guys love it too because we're, we're good enough at the game that we can probably finish it. But we're going to blow the hell out of each other in the meantime and it's going to be great. Um, also phrasing. Um, Satisfactory uh, has only been going for about a month. StarCraft II Wings of Liberty, which you guys seem to really enjoy, and I'm really excited about that, uh, is, is going, and uh, I'm really excited with the way that we're doing it, where I'm playing a third of the game, Nathis is playing a third of the game, Misha's playing a third of the game. Um, it's going to be really cool, and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it. Um, and Battletech. Battletech takes a long time. <laughs> Battletech is one of those games where we're going to be playing it for probably a while, but... Um, but the original plan with Battletech was to stop playing it after a certain point to, uh, to build up more episodes just because the, the length of the episodes, but it's been, you guys have enjoyed it so much that I'm pretty sure as long as we can record it consistently, which is not a guarantee, unfortunately, um, as long as we can record it consistently, I'm just going to keep it up until the game is done. I don't know how long the game is. I haven't looked that up or anything like that. And I haven't finished it myself, so I couldn't tell you. But we're just, as far as I can say right now, we're just going to keep going with that. Um, also, a few other things that have shown up in the comments. Sekiro. Um, I am working with DCL to try to figure out if and when we are coming back to that game. Right now, the answer is tentatively yes, we are coming back to that game. But I don't know when. Um... Just because of the difficulties in, in scheduling recordings, uh, things like that, it's just, uh, it's been hard. We haven't really had the opportunity to do it. So we're trying to get back to that one and play it some more. Uh, the question has come up multiple times, though, so I just wanted to address that. Sekiro, tentatively, yes, it will be coming back. Um, and we are doing our best to do so. It's just uh, a matter of actually figuring out how and when we can do it. Um, other games, Stardew Valley. This question hasn't come up because I addressed it at the end of the last Stardew Valley episode, but Stardew Valley, I'm pretty sure, is going to be a consistent winter thing for a while. <laughs> We're just going to play it uh, usually from November to about March and just keep putting those episodes up uh, uh, as long as we keep going, just because it's fun to do. Um, so Stardew Valley will probably be coming back towards the end of the year. Uh, we're going to keep playing that same game. There's been a couple of updates. It'll probably mess with a couple of things, but we should be able to keep playing the same game. Uh, so, Phenoxo and Third are coming back for that. Um, Satisfactory, uh, just so you guys know, Satisfactory is a game that has no ending. We're only probably going to play it until we unlock the ninth and 10th tiers on the Space Elevator, and then we're probably going to stop playing it. Um just because it's it's still an unfinished game and there's not, from what I understand, I should say, there's not a lot of content beyond that. Um, it's a great game to play. We'll probably play it more when it actually uh, gets major updates and stuff like that, but for now the plan is to continue until we've seen everything that we can unlock and not actually unlock everything or complete the game, because you can't complete the game. It's in early access. Um, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We're going to play until we finish Phoenix Wright Ace, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Then we are probably going to move on to a different game, come back and play Justice for All, which is the second game in the series, and then we're going to come uh, go back and play another game, and then we're going to come back and play Trials and Tribulations, the third game in the series. So um, we're trying to break those up. Same thing with StarCraft II, actually, now that I think about it. StarCraft II, we're going to play the Wings of Liberty campaign, take a break. We're going to come back and play uh, Heart of the Swarm, take a break. We're going to come back and play Legacy of the Void, take a break. Um, but with games like that, where it's actually three or four games in one, I don't want to keep them on the channel for an entire year because that's what would happen. 
But we will be bre- uh, taking breaks after those games and playing uh, some other stuff. Just again, to keep things fresh, keep it moving. Um, as for other games that we're going to be playing, uh, future games, we do have some tentative plans off in the far future pending release dates and uh, and the ability to actually buy the games. Um, right now, we are looking at... Uh, Matt and I are going to do Ace Combat 4. Uh, that's hopefully in the near future. Um, we also want to do Merc- uh, Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries when it comes out, which is in September. So that could be interesting. But we are going to do Ace Combat 4 and we are going to do Mech Warrior 5 at some point. Um, I love Mech Warrior. Battletech has gotten me into Mech Warrior so hard. It's great. Uh, <laughs> um, actually, uh, for those who didn't watch the uh, episode of uh, Deus Ex on Sunday, um, last Sunday, uh, I went to Gen Con and I spent like $90 on Battletech Sourcebooks because I'm never going to play the damn game, but I love the lore. It's great. So Battletech is awesome. I love it. Um, other tentative plans. Uh, there's a game coming out in November that you might have heard of called Pokemon Sword and Shield, and we will be playing those on the channel. So look forward to that, hoping to do something interesting with that, but we shall see. Um, and uh, we've already started recording a couple of other games, so those hopefully will be coming out in the near future. Um, what was the other game? Oh, Metal Wolf Chaos, we do want to do. DCL wants to do that so hardcore. That's one of the reasons we haven't figured out what to do with Sekiro yet. Do we finish Sekiro and then go to Metal Wolf Chaos? Or do we take advantage of the fact that Metal Wolf Chaos just came out and play that now? Or what do we do? We're just still trying to figure that out, and hopefully we'll have an answer for that soon. Um, I think that's it for, for games. Maybe? Just in the short term, that's it for games. We do have some other games planned that uh, I don't want to call them pipe dreams, but they're they're just a, a bit far off in the future for me to actually confirm that we're doing them. Um, uh huh. Hmm. I think that's it, really. I didn't really have much else to say. Uh. I'm kind of... I'm tired, and I'm, my brain's not really working right right now, so... Oh, one other thing that I've been wanting to talk about for a couple of months now, um, without actually having to address it directly, is uh, YouTube personality controversies. It's kind of a weird topic, I know, but um, one of the people that I follow on YouTube, or used to follow, I should say, um, and you've probably heard me bring it up in a couple of different episodes, is Pro Jared. Uh, I don't follow Pro Jared anymore. If you don't know the story behind why I don't follow Pro Jared anymore, I'm sure there's many things out there that you can watch to to get an idea of why, or, or read, or whatever, to find out why I don't follow Pro Jared anymore. Um, I guess that's kind of a, a segue into... Segue is such a great word. Um, it's kind of a segue into... Um, kind of the point behind this channel. Because it has been in my head for a while. The uh, the idea of celebrity and what it means. I am not an internet celebrity. Nobody here on the channel is really an internet celebrity. Except maybe for Noxo and don't look that up, kids. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, no one on the channel is really a celebrity. We don't have a huge following. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. Put a pin in that, Dave. Come back to that in a second. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, but there's 50 million Let's Play channels out there, and we're just a small one. Um, we have a lot of fun with this, but we're not doing this to be famous or popular or anything like that. We're doing this to have fun and, and have a reason to play games with each other. It's kind of, at, at first, and I've said this before in, in other vlogs, the point was to become popular and become successful and become a YouTube personality. But it frequently seems like popularity and success makes you a bad person? 
question mark? It's it's hard to explain, but you see people that get like a million subscribers or or 500,000 subscribers or 750,000 subscribers and they start to go a little nuts. They start being like, "Oh my god, I'm super internet famous. I can do whatever I want now." And that goes that that ends poorly in every single one of those cases. And that concerns me. I do want this channel to succeed, but success for me is as long as I'm having fun and you guys are having fun and the people that I record with are having fun, that's success. So I love doing this. I'm going to keep doing this as long as you guys are here to watch me do this. Uh, and the team is here to do that as long as you're willing, as long as they're willing to put up with me, because God knows I'm a team killing asshole most of the time. Um, but success has become less about the number of subscribers and more about the fun that I have with the people that are here. You guys. And we get comments on videos and, uh, comments on videos, uh, likes and views and stuff like that on stuff that we do and that's what I share with the people in the channel or the people, the, the cast members I should say. I, I occasionally share things like numbers like how many views we got in the last 28 days or how many uh, minutes watched or how many subscribers we're up to but most of the time what I'm saying is hey check out this cool comment that somebody left on something we did it's awesome. They People really liked what we did in this one episode. And they're like, oh my god, that's so cool. And that gives me like this happy feeling inside where it's like, yay, people like what we do. And it's, it's, that's, that's success to me. And it has been for quite a while now. So getting a lot of subscribers is, is cool. Getting more subscribers is great. If you're new here, by the way, since the last vlog and I haven't said hello to you, Hello, I'm Dave. This is the vlog. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. And if you're, uh, if you've been here for more than one vlog, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Um, I need like a fireplace behind me, <laughs> just like a, a smoking jacket. And just oh, hello. My name is Dave. I'm very intellectual, but I don't want success to be the thing that destroys me. And thank God I have. I have my wife, Eleni, because good lord, she keeps me grounded nine times out of ten. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's what success means to me. As long as I'm having fun, as long as the cast is having fun, as long as you're having fun, that is success. That's all I want. And it's a really simple goal, and I have a job that pays the bills, and it's not YouTube. So YouTube is just fun to do, and that's good enough for me. However, that being said, one thing I wanted to say is everybody uh, celebrates their, their subscriber counts. And we are, last time I checked, at 940 subscribers. It's, it's slowly getting up there. Uh, and again, welcome to all the new people that are helping that number go up. But uh, when we get to 1,000, I will do something stupid uh, on camera. I don't know what it is. It could be eating a hot pepper, and I hate hot peppers. I hate spicy stuff anything more than a mild salsa is not good for me and i will eat a hot pepper on camera or maybe i'll stuff my mouth full of marshmallows and try to do, say uh, chubby bunny or or something like that i'm not going to do something amazingly fantastical or whatever and uh, and like start a fire or anything like that but i'll do something stupid to celebrate a thousand subscribers when we get there uh if you have ideas for what i could do feel free to leave a comment down below I'd prefer to do something that won't kill me or put me in a hospital or anything like that. But hey, maybe if you want me to play a game and do something really stupid on it, I'll do that. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, that's all I, I really wanted to say. I kind of rambled on a bit there, and I apologize for that. But uh, but yeah, that's that's it. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. Keep an eye out for all the stuff that we're coming up with because I feel like we're we're having a lot more fun now than we were last year, and we're having we were having more fun last year than we were the year before. So it's just we're having a great time all around, and I hope you'll be here with us for that. And uh, have a great rest of your weekend or rest of the day if you are watching this after Saturday, which is totally fine. 
I guess. Why aren't you watching this on Saturday? Do you not have notifications set up? You need to get notifications.